What's going on everybody? This is Troy Ghost Host Rawlings. You're tuned into the Taboo Raw Uncut video blog. Today is Wednesday the 29th. You know it's Wednesday, that means it's what the fuck? Wednesday. WTF Wednesday. What the fuck? Wednesday. What the fuck is going on? Wednesday. What the fuck? Okay. This is going to be kind of long. Long. We're talking about ways to prolong male ejaculation. You know, the question is, you know, don't come. <laughs> That'll be the topic for today. Don't come. Don't come. <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, toot, toot. All right. Stop. A lot, of, a lot of you know we have a special guest on the radio show. Thanks for everybody that tuned in last night to the Taboo Raw and Cut radio show. Awesome. My numbers are going through the roof. A lot of great things to come, including the TV show. Stay tuned. Tell your friends. As soon as I get my friend list up to... Actually, I'm about to start a fan page for Taboo Raw and Cut. So join the fan page and stay tuned. It gets better and better. May 8th, I want to see you in Baltimore. Check out the events. Okay. Because this is long. And we probably had to make this a series because a lot of sisters hit me up about um, pleasure and brothers who are too small or come too fast or blah, blah, blah. Guys, you don't really complain about women, but so much but on the emotional side. <laughs> but um, for y'all that know, we have Daryl and Satori um, who do the teachings on Afro Tantra, AfroTantra.com. Afro you can check them out. But I wanted to hit up, I have a book, Sex, A Man's Guide, by Stefan Betchel, Lawrence Roy Staines, and the editors of Men's Health. If you know about Men's Health, it's a great book. But this book, Sex, A Man's Guide, there are different books by, by men, um, by women, I'm sorry. There's different books by women that I always tell men to get because you get a perspective from the female view of what we should be doing sexually, relationship-wise, this and another. But then there's some books that are written by men that do their research and have a bunch of doctors in them and that are awesome books. This is one of them. Sex, a man's guide. All right, look for it. Very important. I mean, they hit, they hit on everything. They do surveys and they hit on everything. Real quick, quick overview for those that don't know what Tantra is and Tantric sex. Um, this in the, er, in the area called Lasting Longer. It says tantric and Taoist traditions. The whole idea of delaying ejaculation in order to prolong pleasure is not some invention of the 20th century TV talk shows or anything like that. In fact, 2000 years ago, tantric and Taoist masters of China, Tibet and Indonesia taught that men cannot experience true sexual ecstasy unless they develop the ability to control their ejaculations, according to Robert T. Francoeur, Ph.D., professor of embryology, embryo, 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 I don't know, I can't say that word, embryology, <laughs> embryology and sexuality at Fairleigh Dickinson University in Rutherford. All right. So 2000 plus years ago, they decided that men can't really enjoy sexual ecstasy unless they prolong their ejaculations. They have a tidbit, five tantric explorations. These are some things you can do that are based off tantric practices that can help you prolong ejaculation. I might have to make this a series because they have some other good points in here about masturbating with a dry hand for 15 minutes, masturbating with a lubricated hand and try to practice it while you're masturbating. Just don't do it to come. Try to practice prolonging and it might help you sexually, especially for those that are in committed relationships. You need to do all this. You need to throw this in with some uh, Dr. Seuss books, all kinds of shit. <laughs> all right. Let's um, go through these five practices. And um, by taking pressure off performance and enhancing a sense of sexual intimacy, ancient Hindu and Buddhist tantric sex rituals have a great deal to offer modern couples. According to Harrison Boyd, Ph.D. of the California Institute of Integral Studies in San Francisco. He suggests these five explorations based on this 2000 year old body of erotic wisdom. One ritual. Create a meaningful ritual to stimulate 
I'm sorry, to simultaneously celebrate and sanctify the sexual exchange. Daryl and Satori always talk about worshiping each other and stuff like that. Check out AfroTantra.com. They touch on all this stuff too. Um, just giving you an overview of a quick tantric. So some people say, Troy, I don't know what tantra is. I don't know what tantric sex is. But it's just a way to prolong the intimacy of your sexual activity and make it more spiritual, more sensual, more more um, more committed. You know, for those that are in committed relationships, this, these are good practices. It gets you deeper involved with the person you're with. And um, um, they say doing things like some of you probably do involve candles, colored lights, flowers, perfumes, a special room or a special bed. Also consider expressions of affection like sensual massage, reciting poetry or chanting. Hum, nom, nom. I'm not too much into the chanting thing. That's going to scare the hell out of me. Hum, nom, nom. Chanting, I don't know, but. Making it personal, make it yours. Anything that you two like doing outside of, puppy, puppy, get it, get it, ah, ah, get it on the floor, get it on the floor. Outside of that. Uh, but the reciting poetry thing shocked me because I had one Facebook friend that mentioned that she's very much into literature and poetry. And she said when somebody uh, recites an excerpt from one of her favorite books, it's erotic to her. Who knew? Synchronized breathing, um, touching your partner in some way, bring your breathing into sync in order to create a feeling of relaxation and togetherness, um, soft focus, uh, breathing patterns, uh, breathing together, uh, sustained eye contact, steady eye contact has almost unlimited potential for generating profound change in sexual experiencing. Um, just keeping your eyes on it because you're hitting it from the back for some reason you come quick and you ain't seeing eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> motionless intercourse after you've penetrated her and you're at a point of peak sexual arousal become completely still start out by doing this a couple of minutes then continue for longer periods um, refrain from orgasm easier said than done sometimes <laughs> I've had quick nights I've had long days I've had some weary oh. I've had some heal <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Refrain from orgasm. Take the <laughs> to take the focus off performance completely. Try love making without orgasm at all. In tantric practice, the purpose of avoiding and refraining from orgasm is to intensify the sexual spiritual energy. This may help you open up a whole new world of sensuous feeling without the big O. All right. Sex Men's Guide, a man's guide from the authors of Men's Health. Get the book, guys. Awesome book. I'm learning a lot. I'm going to hit you up with some more things on it. And hopefully this video wasn't too long, but I'm sure because of what we're talking about, you want it to be longer. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in last night to Taboo Ron Cut Radio every Tuesday night. And Friday, May 8th, I will be in Baltimore. So my D.C., Virginia, P.A., Delaware, New York, New Jersey, come down and have a ball. We're going to do a um, snippet taping for my producers here of the talk show. All right. And we're going to have some great people. Comedian Stacey Carver just got on board. A couple other comedians. we got a couple uh, celebrities going to be in the building. I'll tell you more as we get closer. All right. Talk to you later. God bless. One love. Love y'all. Prolong it. Thank you.